Hey guys, I'm Sean, and today I'll be talking about body imaging. Body imaging is a form or process of imagining a picture of your organs, your biology, and yourself. So, before body imagining, people use this quote, four humors to determine whether a person is healthy or not. Usually, this is more personal and they didn't care about whether that he had a cold or COVID-1 or something. So this form of measuring health was not effective. So at that time in the 1500s, this guy called Leonardo da Vinci with a large beard started cutting dead, dead bodies to draw the insides. He had made records of possibly nothing of the people can see. So usually this was illegal and he could get arrested but because he's famous he didn't get caught or reported by anybody. So lucky, luckily for us we can see the human body today the next device here we have is the first microscope ever. It was invented by two scientists that I can't remember the name. And it kind of looked like a tube. A tube that used to, that is used to look into a dish. They, the two scientists made these microscopes and they saw tiny animals and they called them micro, microbes, which is Latin for tiny animals. The modern design of this microscope is millions of times better. This device is called the TEM, which can zoom up to one million times the original microscope and using this you can see I don't know viruses bacteria to research now we have x-ray which is common you probably have heard of x-ray like x-ray eyes powers and the medical term what is x-ray X-ray is a form of light and gas that that goes through membranes of our human bodies but stops at the bone and metals. So people use this usually to determine whether a bone is fractured, broken or not. But it can be used to like search for bullets, search for anomalies in the brain. But that can be used with this for safer means. It's called ultrasound and it uses vibrations from a device and then a computer nearby will, will process the vibrations and then turn it into a picture. And we can clearly see the human body and anomalies we want to catch without being radiated by a few hundred metric kilotons of x-ray. Okay. So, this is called CT scanning and it's, it's really cool. This, this form of scanning is kind of like uh, where you draw many layers from top to bottom. And then when you stack them, you get the human body. It's kind of like cutting your head into pieces, and then seeing pictures of yourself in 2D. Usually people use this type of scanning when they have a brain injury, a concussion to see what's wrong with the brain. And when stacked up, these, these, these 2D layers are stacked up. You can get a 3D model. See clear. 
The next one is called MRI, which has something to do with magnets. Electromagnets send signals through the body and then the, it can be processed to be a 3D model or just a picture. So basically it's ultrasound but with magnets. And now this is one important one that has to do with the heart. ECG and EEG. So you know when people get that kind of coma when they're deeply sleeping and won't wake up. So the thing about that is we can't watch them forever. We can't watch every breath of them. And we can't determine whether they're dead, nearly dead, or their heart, heart stopped beating, or they are just cannot breathe, or they're just sleeping. So this device measures the heartbeats and it usually knows when the person is dead. So usually high pitched tones are used for warnings. And yeah, it, it's been keeping people alive since it's it's a cool device. Next we have endoscopes. Endoscopes are like ultrasound but physically. Endoscopes usually are used when people have like a sore throat or they have internal pain. This device is like a long tube with a camera at the top. It is carefully put from your mouth or nose straight into Usually doing this should have pain, but people have medicine that doesn't allow brain signals to be sent that it has pain. And this device can be used to uh, see the problem inside your body without causing pain because I think internal pain is uh, worse than having cancer. Alright, thank you for listening. Bye.